you know, when you have that moment where things in your personal life are going really well and everything is flowing and it's feeling fantastic and then the world does its thing and you're like, wow, is it really possible for me to have this moment in this world? Hey, welcome. This is the Astrology of the Week Ahead podcast. I'm your host, Chani Nicholas. I also aim to be your astrological bestie, if you'll have me. This week is that kind of mix. There's something that happens at the very, very end end of the week that is a red flag to me, I just got to say. And I don't mean that that will be something that happens in your personal life. I actually think that this is really significant in terms of world events, which I kind of hate to say because I don't want any more significant world events except for like peace and harmony and justice and liberation for all of us. Uh, But here we are. This is the world that we're in. So we have to say, okay, what do we do within it? But right before that daunting red flag-ish type of astrology that happens on Sunday, so I'm talking about something that happens at the very end of the week, there is a gorgeous signature that just looks like social good, like sweetness amplified, like fun, like flirtations, like some kind of really beautiful, 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 beautiful setup. And this will hopefully land in a broader kind of sense. But because the other thing's also happening, it just has me like pausing. And both things can be true at the same time, right? The world can be going through its very extreme, hopefully like rebirth and transformation into something that is going to sustain life on the planet. And that there can be this intensity and beauty at the same time. And that's our job also as humans is to witness both, to witness things that are intense and wild and weird and sometimes really challenging while still being open to the beauty and the connection and the belief in what it is we can do and why it is we're here. Okay, that's my little sermon about the vibes of the week. But let's break it down. We've got the first major thing that's happening is on Wednesday. And Wednesday is an excellent day for our conversations, for our ability to get out the message, and to do so with some confidence, with some gusto. So Wednesday is a good day for comms in general. And it gets the message out into the world. And I do think that some part of the message is about being a fierce protector because Mars is in Cancer, which is hard. And so the message could also be something that feels a little passive aggressive or something that is a little passive aggressive because it's Mars in Cancer and Mercury is just translating that energy. Whatever Mercury touches, it translates. To remember, Mercury's pretty like neutral almost, it is impacted by who it hangs out with. So when Mercury makes an aspect, it's going to be translating the nature of that planet through the sign that it's in, through the style of the sign that it's in. But it's really like, you know, doing the thing of that other planet. So on Wednesday, Mars will be like, or sorry, on Wednesday, Mercury will be like, oh, this is what Mars sounds like while it's in Cancer. So again, like mama bear energy, parental kind of feelings of like back off from my cub kind of vibe in the best case scenario maybe. And then the worst case scenario, it's a message of something that is a little bit more, again, manipulative. It is a sextile though, so it is bound to bring out the best attributes of that Mars in Cancer. So Go forth and growl when you need to. On Thursday, the sun makes a square to Jupiter, which is quite bouncy. It definitely will inflate egos that are already tipping towards that type of vibe. It will give us confidence that we didn't have and maybe that we shouldn't have. I don't know. It'll definitely like pump us up or it pumps up solar types of people. So leaders people in the spotlight. It pumps that whole kind of persona up. So it depends on where this is falling in your chart. Now on Saturday, 
this is what I'm really excited about. And I want us to think about the kind of magic that we can make with this transit. On Saturday, Venus makes a trine to Jupiter, which is one of the best things that it can do. And Venus is in its own sign. It's in Libra, which means that it's in its place of glory and strength and also like feeling itself. Venus in Libra is deeply relaxed and confident and is in possession of all of its powers. And its powers are magnetism and the ability to attract to it what it wants. It's not that we need to attract things to us, but it's by nature of being attractive that the thing comes. So it attracts what it wants, but it's not through pushing. It's through relaxing. It's through being in one's own vibe. It's through being in one's own place that like, I've got everything I need. And oh, here's all these other things that I didn't even know I needed or wanted. And here they are. And so the magic that we can make on Saturday, the magic of this moment is about our social connection. It is about our relationships and it is about art and beauty and creating the kind of culture that we want to live in. A culture that celebrates connection and connectivity. Because if there's one thing that the systems we live within do, it's to create a false sense of isolation. We are not actually disconnected from anything else in the living universe. But capitalism, patriarchy, white supremacy, colonialism, all of it says boundaries and borders and separation and you're isolated and that's how abusive relationships function. And the way to dismantle that is to remember the ways in which we are connected, not only to other human beings, but to the entire living world. We are impacted by it and it is impacted by us. So this is such a beautiful day and week, really, to remember to be witnessed by all of life, like to let life witness you. It's not all about like getting what you want and manifesting what you want. That's great and it's important. But there's also this whole understanding that Venus has or that Venus can teach when we work with Venus we can learn that being in relationship with life is being witnessed by our life and witnessing our life it's that beautiful moment of reflection and look Venus is in Libra it's the two sides of the scales and Jupiter is in Gemini which is the twins and so there's a lot going on in this configuration about that relationship about this side and that about this perspective and that one, and about how we can find our way into the middle, into a third place, into relationships. And it's also just a really good time to get out your little gratitude journal and to train your mind to look for the things that you love in this world, to magnify them to your awareness to be on the lookout for all of the beauty, all of the friendship, all of the sweetness, and all of the love that's already in your life, and all of the love and beauty and sweetness and kindness and friendship that wants to come to you. Let it come in. Let it flow in. What can you do to be in a better position for reciprocity? That's Saturday. So like dress up, be glorious, be cute flirt with life, be its best friend, be your own best friend. Then Sunday, which, you know, this is all happening kind of together, but it happens exactly on Sunday. Mars squares the nodes. And that's the red flag of the week that I was talking about. And it does feel like the Mars of it all, the Mars that is, you know, in cancer right now. So it's functioning in a way that's not so direct and straightforward and therefore it's harder to to match or to be like, hey, what are you doing? That's that's not what we do here. And so when Mars squares the nodes, there's an amplification of something about Mars. Mars is in a tricky kind of place because the nodes are where eclipses happen. And eclipses are those points in the year where 
the events of the world speed up and where it's really tense usually. Usually there's something going on that's like, oof, how's this going to go? And so Mars kind of tripping the north and south node axis where eclipses happen signals that we should really pay attention to Mars type of issues. So aggression, war, people that love those types of things where their own feelings of insecurity go so unchecked because of our toxic masculinity culture that, you know, they get this violence kind of gets to run rampant. And I'm not saying that this is going to be a day where that occurs. I'm just saying that when I see that, it makes me a little wary. So there's nothing for us to do. And there's definitely nothing to fear about this. But I will say that on a personal level, because that's all we can actually do, we actually don't have the ability to control the world. We just have the ability to work with what we've got. On a personal level, This is astrology that asks us to be very conscientious about our bitterness, our hatred, if you will, the stuff we've swallowed. Maybe you're like, I don't have any. And great, if you don't, amazing. I know I have a lot. There's just stuff that you survive in life that leaves a bitter taste in your mouth. And at some point, you have to kind of extract that bitterness or work through it or claim it and say like, no, I, there's some stuff that's happened to me that I still haven't worked out. And there's stuff that happens in the world that I am absolutely not okay with, I am enraged about. This is the kind of astrology where we want to be very conscientious or we want to be coming We want to be coming. We want to be becoming. We want to be working on our conscious awareness around our bitterness, our rage, our anger as justified and as unjustified as we are in having it, right? Because we're complex and we're going to feel justified to be enraged about things that we actually don't. It's not really. And then there's stuff that we have every justification to be enraged about. So I want us to be thinking about that on a personal level. The more we make our own anger, rage, vitriol conscious, the more in our power we are because the less we are unconsciously motivated to sabotage things. Consciously, if we're trying to sabotage something that's awful and evil, great. I'm all for that. But when we unconsciously are sabotaging, usually we're also self-sabotaging. So this is just a really good reminder. Again, it's mixed in with this gorgeous Venus-Jupiter trine that's so beautiful. So we can't have the beauty, though, and all that connection and stuff without really grappling with the other stuff. We are very complex beings. We're human. That means we're very flawed and very fantastic all at the same time. And this astrology reminds us of that. So maybe a world event occurs this week at the end of the week. Maybe not. We, we don't know. We got to live it out. But we know that we are moving into next week's eclipse, right? Next week, we have an eclipse on the 17th of September on Tuesday. So we're really close to that eclipse energy. And with Mars triggering the north and south node by square on Sunday, we're just in it. So yes, the beauty, the joy, the sweetness of the Venus-Jupiter trine, absolute. No one can take that away from us. And the shadowy stuff that gets stirred up over eclipse season is also here because the eclipse is now just days away. And it's the first eclipse that we're having in Pisces near the North Node in a couple decades. So it's the beginning of a new chapter. Come back next week and we will talk all about what that eclipse is looking like, what it might be about. And then, of course, check the Chani app for your personal reading about where this eclipse is falling in your chart, just so that you know What's the work this week? Like, what am I chewing on? What am I digesting? What am I sorting through? Again, this is shadow work. We need to sort through it. It's not stuff you can do all at once. It's not like cleaning up something you spilled on the ground. It's not simple like that. 
It's like sorting the seeds. They got a pile of seeds. They're tiny. They look like each other. And you have to go in and just like sort, 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 sort. It's Virgo season. That's what you do in Virgo season. It's good to do that. So if you just find yourself in moments mulling things over, just be like, oh, I'm sorting. I'm sorting through the muck. I'm sorting through my psyche's shadows stuff. I'm sorting through the stuff that I've yet to make conscious. And as I sort through it, I make it conscious and I understand myself better. And therefore, I can be a better friend to myself and to life in general. And that's where the magic is, again, especially on Saturday. Okay, it's that time. It's that time for me to say thank you. Thank you for leaving us reviews in the App Store. It changes everything for us. It lets people know that we're a real company with real people here (laughs) that really care and that are really working very hard on this thing that we bring you. And it just feels amazing to know that it lands and why it lands for you and what it does in your life. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I wanted to leave you with this one. It's called Get It Now. You will thank you later. So good. Just finished a guided meditation on generosity, and I am so filled with gratitude and love and joy for this app. I use it daily. It's such a nice little pep in my step when I need a time out from life. Thank you for all you do and for being you. We appreciate you and the community you have created. How are you? Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for going on this little adventure with me. There's a lot of really great things this week. Like Wednesday, Mercury, Sextile, Mars. I love it. Tuesday, uh, Thursday, the Sun, Square, Jupiter. Phenomenal. Saturday, Venus, Trine, Jupiter. Yes, 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 yes. All day. I could take that transit every day. And then we're in the more rugged, wild eclipsy times. Eclipses are times and eclipse season, the span of weeks where eclipses happen. Eclipse season is a time of openings and closings, beginnings and endings. Something turns over and because next week's eclipse is the first eclipse of its kind in a while, we know that like a new story, a new chapter is opening up. So I'll see you back here next week for more on that. In the meantime, take really good care of yourselves. Like, follow, subscribe, all those things do them if you want. Share this with a friend if you find it helpful. Bye for now.